Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back, loves. Welcome back. Welcome to Queen Cancer Tarot channel. And I am back and I am doing well, you guys. I am taking it easy. I have my hand wrapped very well for the occasion. All right. Um, got some extra padding here by my surgery area in between my hand here, my thumb, very sensitive spot on my right hand, you guys, which I have not been able to really do much by myself. So thank goodness for help. But actually, you know what? I'm blessed. Let's just say that I'm very blessed. Thank God for that. All right. All right, and blessings to all of you who are healing from any situation, whether it be physical, emotional, mental, and all types of ways, y'all. I mean that, right? Blessings to all of you. All right, and prayers for healing, and thank God for healing, and blessings for everybody in the collective, all right? who is on a journey of healing, okay? And we all need that in our lives in some fashion, all right? Healing of relationships as well, okay? Being restored, proper relationships, okay? So let's focus on that as we get into part two of this reading, all right? And those of you who are new to the channel, welcome everybody. This is primarily a Cancerian only channel. I do, however, have two other channels on YouTube. Queen Cancer Tarot is my main channel. And then I have She Reads Tarot, where I read for all 12 signs. And then I have Tarot Talk Live, Celebrity News, and Conspiracy Theory, Astrology, and different topics. And the links for both channels are below. Also, I do a giveaway every month, okay? And the information is below for the giveaway. You, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel in order to win. And I do a weekly giveaway as well. There's a drawing for a three question reading with me, a free reading with me. And all you have to do to enter in your chance to win, which this bag right here is all of the entries, y'all. And look at how it's growing. Look at how it's growing. Not much left. So um, this bag is full of entries. You can enter unlimited times. Hashtag win in the comment section in order to enter your chance to win. Okay, that's all you have to do. Hashtag win or hashtag free reading, whichever you choose. All right, so... I'm going to go ahead and do the winners really quick. All right, before I go any further, there will be three. Okay, so I'm just going to pull three. One, two. And let's see here. That was wide open. Okay, guys. Gordon Enriquez. Gordon Enriquez. Congratulations, Gordon. And you are a winner. You already know what to do, Gordon. You have won on this channel, I believe, a couple of times. So you can go ahead and email me in order to claim your prize, okay? Email me to claim your prize, okay? 
see here, who do we have? I have Lena, 1985. Lena, 1985. Congratulations, my love. You are a winner. And please email me in order to claim your prize. And my email address is below. And I have Starlight. Starlight. Starlight, congratulations. Starlight, um, all you have to do is email me to claim your prize, but it has to be in the form of an email, okay? Send it directly to me, queencancertarot at gmail.com. Y'all know what to do, and congratulations, and thank you very much for playing my game. And as you know, you guys are going right back in for this week's drawing, which is going to happen in like three days. Okay. Gordon, Nina, and Starlight. Congratulations, all three of you. All right. So. I typically like to do this on Fridays, but oh well, it is what it is. I just had surgery on my right hand and um, so shuffling is gonna be different, y'all. I'm taking my time. My voice is even quieter because I'm just in healing mode right now. And I'm just thankful to be able to get these readings out to you. And if I have to stop or take a break or pause, I will do that, okay? Unapologetically. So don't y'all get yell, get mad at me. Don't yell at me. I don't care if you do anyways, okay? It's my channel. And I enjoy it when y'all talk shit, okay? So go ahead. It helps the channel. But y'all usually don't, so I'm proud of you. <laughs> but there are some trolls that like to get on here saying dumb shit from time to time. But some people actually care and have genuine comments. Like some person commented the other day. It was a very thoughtful comment. And it was a suggestion about me. And... Um, something that they thought that I could do differently or, you know, in a different way to help me be comfortable. And I thought that that was very sweet, right? I like constructive criticism. I don't like assholes that just want a reaction. You know what I'm saying? But be constructive when you criticize this cancer, okay? Because I am like a quadruple, triple sow cow cancer. So you can't really, like, feelings, oh my God, it starts there. <laughs> and it finishes there. So just kind of tread carefully with me. That's all. I don't ask for much. Why well, I'm lighting too much incense, so it's okay. It's gonna be a fired up reading. <laughs> How do I keep wanting to do this, y'all? I did this the last reading. What is it about it? Hmm. Double incense here. Having to put one out because there's one already lit. Hmm. Or someone lighting one up when there's one already going, being maybe an energy of being wasteful, but then 
fixing it. Hmm. Okay, well, anyways, there's a thought, food for thought. Okay, I'm done rambling. So we're gonna go ahead and get to the reading, y'all. I have nothing else to ramble about, except for a couple of things. I do accept personal readings. However, please do not send reading requests to my email. It may not get read in a timely manner. So if you would like to request a reading with me, go directly to the website. The link is below and you can pay there. And there are several forms that you can pay or you can send me a cash app and I accept PayPal and credit card on the website, debit card. Um, and I think Google or Apple Pay. Not sure. Y'all let me know. I will be getting Venmo soon. Um, and I think there's something else that I need to add on, but that's it for now. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do for you first. So we're gonna just kind of recap, okay, that previous reading that we did, okay? So first of all, this is someone close to you, a friend, family member, whatever the case may be. They need to change, right? This is someone who is very entitled, right? They're entitled to having all of their wishes fulfilled. This is somebody who has to have everything their way, right? We saw the King of Swords and the Nine of Cups. That pretty much says it all. Underneath the deck, we have the King of Cups, okay? And the King of Wands came up. So I, I realized that we have three kings here. Only king that's missing is the King of Pentacles. Isn't that interesting? While this is an energy of someone who is financially not with the shits, okay? When they need to get their financial head on, right? King of Wands, big picture thinking, this is what moves you, Cancer. Not flashiness, not over buying things, having too much and nothing at the same time. Less is more for you, Cancer. And it's also sexier especially when it's of substance. Do you know what I mean? Of substance. And a, and a hard work to obtain it is even sexier. It's not all about fast money, looking up on something or getting something quickly. Okay? Because you're not going to... It's not going to have as much meaning. And you are all about what it feels like for you, what it makes you feel like, okay? And you're very nostalgic. So you think about, you know, you hold on to things, right? Um, so, yeah, there it is. I just spelled it out. But I feel like that's the difference between you and and this person and we're going to stop there and just see what the cards say let's see whose energy we pull I'm not even going to pick a side this time because last time you saw your energy your person's energy as well however you were very reserved you were more king of cups energy more hermit pulled back you know what I mean? Side-eyeing this person. Okay. 
tell us about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell us about cancer. Now, look, I have a handful. Okay. So we're going to stop there. One thing I see. First thing I see is this. Good karma. That looks good here. And the next thing I see, so fresh and so clean, Cancer, with good karma. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing blessings coming in. I'm seeing abundance coming in. I'm seeing your energy coming in very strong here. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, we have a couple. Uh, interesting. Makes rules, but doesn't follow them. Hmm. And then we have rose-colored glasses are on. And this is in the reverse. Could this be your energy? Seeing things in a clear view, a clear perspective. Not only that, not just painting a picture that is the way you want it to be because it looks good, right? Um, but being honest about what it is, okay? If it's shitty, it's shitty. If it's great, it's great. You're not going to paint any pictures about it. Um, makes rules, but doesn't follow them here. So someone is, is being very authoritative. <laughs> is that word coming through again? King of Swords energy. This is someone who will tell everyone what to do one through 10. And they have to do it one through 10, right? But this person can do it one, five, eight, two, 10, nine, four, all out of order, right? And you can't say anything to this person about what they do and how they do it. That's the energy I'm getting here. Um, and this is also an energy of someone who is very good at dictating how things should go, but then they don't do it the way they say it should be done. Okay. Um, but then they want a good outcome here. So let's see. But you're having good, a good karma moment here. And remember what I said? You are making a decision to help even this person in their time of need. But you were putting your foot down as well and saying, listen, I am agreeing to, to reach out to you, but this is the last time. And I said this with someone close to you. This could be a family member. This could be a... Um, a child, it could be a sibling, you know what I mean? It could be a very close friend, but this is someone that you are close to that feels like they are entitled to your compassion because you have it like that, right? You see what I'm going with this? Okay, but you want, you're seeing bigger picture with this person, okay? You're wanting to show this person how it's done. Do you understand? So you're taking the rose colored glasses off of this person, okay? Because I feel like they've put on rose colored glasses and whenever it comes to them, but when it's other people, they don't, they don't see it that way. They're not as lenient, right? And look, we have high anxiety in the reverse. 
Okay, so definitely no longer in an energy of allowing stress or other people's stress to affect you. I feel like with high, high anxiety in the reverse, and so fresh and so clean. That is so giving me Andre 3000 Players Club vibes. I don't know why. And I know that there was a song, So Fresh um, and So Clean, that they did as well, right? But it's just giving me those summertime, very clean, crisp vibes. Close out the bag, just pop the tags. Okay, don't get me started. Okay, because I'm a 90s baby. Don't play with me. But so fresh and so clean here and high anxiety in the reverse. So definitely on an energy of vibing, not letting anything stress you out. And remember, if you want to rewind the tape, that was so where you were going. Okay, you were not allowing anyone to get under your skin, being very happy and calm and collected and very in your abundance era, okay? You're in your abundance era, Cancer, all right? So, hmm. And I'm also getting boss vibes here with this make rules but doesn't follow them necessarily but i'm getting a, a improper boss it's like a backwards upside down boss this person needs to learn that every good leader is first a good follower right you have to follow first in order to lead you just the way it is so this person doesn't want to do it that way they want to speed up the process, right? They want everything quick. They want to get it out of order. See what I mean? They don't want to have build the appreciation for the things that they want to have in life, right? But you're about to rip those glasses off. <laughs> Whatever the sun blockers, those blue blockers they have on, you're about to snatch them off of their little face and pop the lens out and put them back on their face because this person can't see. They can't see that they're in this energy here, okay? And you're just showing them that you're only suffering from this. <laughs> this is what you're suffering from, Cancer. <laughs> And that's all you want this person to see, okay? That's all you need them to understand here. It's not that you're better. It's not that you're smarter. Well, you know what I mean? Some people might say, but you didn't say this, and you're not saying this. What you're saying is, is there's a way for everyone to eat off of the table, same table. So it, it, there's enough for everyone. And then some, is, it, it, don't even worry about it. Just know where the source, who the source is, okay? And know that it's all there for everybody to have. Everybody can get it. <laughs> everybody can get it, Cancer. And that's what you want this person to realize. Everybody can get it here at this table. You can eat too. You just have to follow the same rules that you're making for everybody else or that others that have gone down the successful path have followed. You get it? You dig? You want to eat from the table of success, but you don't want to follow the path of the people that built the table or ate at the table prior to you, like that's not a thing where it comes from. That's a respect thing first. 
And second, it's just it's just plain old putting in the work. You have to put in the time or you will not be respected by anybody at the end of the day. You know what I mean? And besides, if you want to learn something, let's be honest, who are you going to go to? An apprentice or a guru? If you had the option, okay, and price wasn't a factor or, you know, scheduling or availability or any of that, this just fell out of the deck. First card out of the deck. Time. It will happen within a year, Cancer. So something is going to be happening within a year's time, okay? Something is going to be happening within a year's time here. So we are in September, so before September of 2025 something is going down here there's one more cancer please okay Ooh, look at this okay it's an inheritance a death okay a visit to the hospital sick loved one you will regret not saying goodbye in a funeral so Letting something go, okay? And remember, I told you, you would be separating from this person, okay? And it's going to happen within a year. Like I said, you're going to end up helping this person. with so fresh and so clean. Remember I said this person may be going through a bankruptcy or some sort of a clean start, you know, for their last and final time. Or there could be an energy of you helping this person for the last and final time. There, this person is going to be having the opportunity to start over. Okay, good karma. This person is going to be blessed to have the opportunity to start over. Fresh. So fresh and so clean. Okay. Um, and it's going to happen within a year. Okay. But I also feel like with this, you are going to be letting this person go. You could be, this is a figurative sense of letting go, like, you know, you're going to fall on your tail next time. So you better have some padding there before you do. Get your savings account, have a backup plan, plan B and C that doesn't involve me. <laughs> That was good. I just came up with that. But it's true. This is what you're going to tell this person. There's this communication coming through. Why do three cards fall out now? Social media, friends, and a firm. Look at that. This doesn't get any clearer. I'm telling you right now. And I said that there's an energy of social media, your business online. And this says more activity. Like you're going to be popping. Your business is getting ready to blow up here. And I said this too in a reading for you the other day. If you were doing something online or something where you were publicly seen or being viewed, that it was going to literally blow up for you. You were going to have like a um, like a grand opening and then you're going to be sold out from like the day you had the grand opening. It's just from the indefinite future, it's going to roll for you, basically. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then we have friends here, okay, coming in the equation here, okay? But this talks about equal give and take here. It says so at the end, equal give and take. And remember, this is an energy of you haven't been receiving this from this person because they're not ready yet. They're not financially there yet. And cancer, sometimes everybody isn't. And sometimes you need to pull back until they are, okay, so that you can be on an equal 
footing so you can enjoy this person's friendship. You know what I mean? And then they don't have to feel some type of way either when it's too unequal. You know what I mean? It just is just the way it is. And then you have a firm here. So basically what I was just saying, you know, um, this is going to be, and this says releasing negative speech and thoughts, okay? Words are powerful. This person is in an energy of lack right now. They are in an energy of not enough, okay? It is what it is. You saw the nine of pentacles in the reverse. I don't have to rewind back to part one. Y'all can go back and look at the link. It's in the description box below. If y'all missed part one, please go check it out. But that nine of pentacles in the reverse was extremely clear when it came up for this person. Living beyond their means, right? But you're not. You're in a period of abundance. Remember your abundance era? Let's not forget about that. A very important statement, okay? Um, but you are affirming this, okay? Positive reinforcement. Again, friends, social media, you're popping. You're doing good. Your coins are coming in a little bit faster and more frequent. So you're able to help a person, a friend, a colleague out now and then. And I feel like there is an energy of doing this. However, there's going to be a release once you do this for the last time. Okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and pull the tarot. And y'all, I'm going to try to get the lightest decks possible so I have no issues with my hand. So we're going to use this deck here. All right. There's that King of Swords there sitting on the bottom, like, you know, just like don't even want to go anywhere, just feeling like they're entitled to have what they want. You know what I'm saying? And they're sitting on this throne, not on a horse like the other king, you know, um, not moving in any way, just sitting there like I'm not moving and I don't have to. OK, <laughs> somebody's going somewhere in a year's time. Okay, Cancer, and it more than likely is going to be you. But we're going to see here, see whose energy is coming through. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. I'm going to Cancer, please. My shuffle game is there when these decks are light because I don't have to bend my thumb at all. I just hold it. And just kind of let the cards go. But my doctor actually wants me to move my fingers around so that they don't get stiff. And, you know, that would be bad. Ugh. I have to do massage therapy after my sutures are removed, which I go back next week on Thursday, I think. To have them removed. So, and then I will be back to light and moving around, but I'll be moving around. I'll be able to drive fully and all that good stuff after next weekend. Uh oh. That's the plan anyways. My shoulders are still a problem. I just dropped out quite a few, few cards. So give me just a second. I like to stretch whenever I have to bend down on the floor. I like to do a lumbar stretch. <laughs> Might as well since I'm down there. <sighs> I just like gravity 
pull my back muscles down towards the floor and they pop every time. And I get more oxygen on the way up. It's great. It's very euphoric. I'll teach y'all one day. I will get my camera adjusted in my family room and we will, I'll show you guys some stretches. <laughs> one day, okay? And say soon. Okay, so here we go. All right. Okay, so let's see. Tell us about cancer, please. Hands are starting to get a little sore. A little bit. Tell me about cancer. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's interesting. So look at that. Three of swords. It went all the way to the left in an open drawer. <laughs> that was just happened to be right there. And the seven of wands. See that? Three of swords and the seven of wands, Cancer. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Tell me about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and giants. Tell me about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and giants. I'm telling you, these guys are just like jumping jacks. Little Mexican jumping beans. So we have the Nine of Cups. Ooh. And the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Look at that. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Fire energy here. Tell me about Cancer, please. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Page of Cups. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay. Underneath the deck, we have the Six of Swords, the King of Cups. <laughs> The devil, what did I tell you? And the empress with the ace of cups and the lovers, the moon, and the ace of wands. Okay. All right, Cancer, let's break it down here real quick. So what's interesting about all of this is this devil and this empress underneath the deck here. Six of swords, the king of cups, the devil, and the empress energy here. Capricorn, Cancerian energy. Libra, Taurus, energy here, okay, strong, Cancer, yeah, strong Cancerian energy here, um, and Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Capricorn Cancer, all right, um, or a Taurus, so, There is definitely an energy of, you know, you're, you're moving away from being Mr. Nice Guy. This is like you saying, no more Mr. Nice Guy, right? Um, the devil and the empress, like, literally 
this is an energy of someone who is literally attracted and obsessed with your abundance, okay? Obsessed with your abundance or your potential to create, okay? Um, and this person is just like, has their, their, their claws in you, okay? Um, but you're moving away from this energy. Six of Swords is someone who has learned a lesson and they are getting away. They are sneaking away, okay, in the middle of the night, okay? But the King of Cups, this talks about someone who is separating, okay? Like, I love you, but I'm going to do it from over here, okay? Because right now, you're obsessed. And you need to have your own abundance. You need to be able to take care of yourself, be able to do it for yourself. So you may bail this person out and then you're like, I got to go, got to go. Okay. With the Ace of Cups here and the lovers, this is an energy of moving on to a new business venture, moving on to a new partnership, okay, um, a new contract, a new situation with someone that you can trust, okay, but this is going to be somewhere else, okay, it's definitely not going to be going back to this old person, even though you care about them, right, even though you care about them, this is all about a new opportunity, and with the moon underneath and the ace of wands, again, this is an energy of someone who is waiting on something to happen. They're waiting on, it's like they're waiting. They're not sure if they're ready for something exciting, okay? They're just not sure what they want. It's like someone who doesn't, they lack passion. They lack direction. They don't know what to do to get that spark back again. But this person needs to figure it out for themselves, right? Because you certainly have. And there's an energy of you disconnecting to protect your abundance here. Three of swords here and the seven of wands here in the past energy. Definitely an energy of someone who was traumatized. And with that seven of wands, ended up having to protect or defend their territory. Okay. You had to clean up after this situation. This person may have been in business with you. And when they left, things were a wreck. And you had to get it back straight again. So, so there's that. It, when this person left, they left you in defense mode. And you had to get back on track. With this nine of cups here. <laughs> and the will of fortune in the reverse. Remember I said this person was all about their wish fulfillment, what they wanted, when they wanted it. Well, with that will of fortune in the reverse, this is all about karma, but not the kind of karma this person was thinking of, okay? Um, this is something that they were expecting. This talks about an unwelcome change, okay? This is like someone who comes in, you've been doing this for 12 years this way, and all of a sudden, the day of the event, there's some sort of change, and it's not going to be the way it's always been done. People are going to be pissed off, right? They're not getting what they're wanting. There's an energy of not getting what they want. Okay. Um, 
and that's where this person is right now. I feel like currently you're not giving this person what they want, but I feel like giving them what they need. So I do, again, feel like you are going to help this person. Ten of Pentacles with the Page of Cups. This is an energy of someone you coming into some sort of a windfall or there's some sort of a financial bloom or blessing that is going to be taking place with you. And like I said, this is your so fresh and so clean moment here. Ten of Pentacles is definitely all about that Andre 3000. Okay. And with the Page of Cups, <laughs> this is an energy of somebody with their hand out saying, please, can I, may I, do you think I could possibly, or this could also be an energy of you just kind of blessing this person, like, listen, go do this and do this and make sure you take care of the kids and listen, I will see you when I see you. Okay, because I I'm I gotta go. You're already in a different direction. It's like, yeah, you know what? The the money's over there on the table. I'll see you later. You know what I mean? So you're just wanting to move on. You have your mind is on other things, okay? Um you're wanting to blossom and grow and go and not be slowed down. So we're going to look at this tarot to clarify one of my favorite decks, Ann Stokes collection. This is my Dracula deck. I love this deck, by the way. All right, so let's clarify all of this good stuff here. I'm get a little bit of shuffling in. This deck, this deck is super light, so it doesn't even feel like I'm holding anything. Definitely cannot do those great big gigantic cards right now. The oracle cards aren't bad. I can do those, but I can probably pull from the oracle decks right now and not have to hold those so much. Okay, whoa. And that's why I keep dropping these decks, you guys, because to hold it, it's too much drain on my hand, so I can't really grip, grip things very stealthily. Okay, so where do we start? Tell us about this Three of Swords here and the Seven of Wands here. There's some trauma here that you endured and it left you, you know, having to protect yourself. This person hurt you, they traumatized you. Two of Wands, see? You, you know, this is an energy of, of playing it safe. Do you see that? Of course, playing it safe. You know what I mean? It's like you love this person. You know, you you want to help this person, you know, but you're making a decision doing what's best for you because you've been there, done that. You see what I'm saying? Under the deck, I have a pentacle. See what I'm saying? This person left you in financial distress. Do you understand me? They left you for goners financially or ruins or an energy of just abandoning you. This could have been an energy of a roommate and they, you know, moved out and left things a mess and left you with all of this money. Oh, not fair. Not fair. Pick up your share. If you're going to walk out, walk out like a decent human being the same way you came in. There's that. And I agree with that message, okay? Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This is an energy of, like I said, 
wish fulfillment, like this person, if they're not getting what they thought they were going to get, okay, it's not coming through the way they thought. And it's, they're not happy about this. They are not. They are not. I see this person having a bit of a tantrum. And we saw this with the Page of Wands in that previous reading. Okay. We did. And look, we have the world in the reverse, you guys. Once again, bad karma. This represents bad karma. Okay, and we saw good karma when we were looking at the situation with your abundance, things are changing, you're having good prospects, and now with this bad debts, bad karma, no control in the situation anymore, and that's what this means. This person is run, they're out of options, they're out of control, they have no control over the situation. Their wish fulfillment is they're literally watching it go. You see what I mean? Um, under the deck, four of wands. Four of wands here. This could be twin flame energy. Okay. Um, but there's an energy of, you know, this person made promises and I feel like they didn't fulfill them. Okay, with the two of swords. See what I'm saying? This person didn't make sound decisions. Okay. They they didn't make sound business decisions. Okay. Um, there were things that information that they kept to themselves or they withheld. You know what I'm saying? And you were stuck in the middle. You were caught in the middle. This was a karmic situation. You were caught in the middle of this person's bad debt. This is someone that was in bad debt and you were caught in the middle of it. But you're saying no, no more. You will not, you know, hurt my financial bottom line anymore. Okay. And I feel like once you separate and put down your foot, that ten of pentacles, this financial windfall is coming in for you. And then with that page of cups, this person is going to have their hand out. Tell me about this ten of pentacles and this page of cups. And look, three of pentacles. What did I say? Will you just help me? Can you just help me out? Just, just work with me here, you know, with pentacles here. Can you just loan me this until this time and until payday? And then, you know, after I figure out what I have left after I do this and that, then I can, you know, let you know when we can talk about, no, no, that doesn't even sound good. That doesn't even sound right. right. So nine of cups under the deck, see what I'm saying? They want to work with you because with that nine of cups, you're their wish fulfillment. Of course they want to work with you. You're their Bank of America. You are this person's, what do you call it? What's the bank? Uh, U.S. bank. Big bank. <laughs> bank of America. I like that one better. So, I mean, six of wands. This person looks to you for their bailout. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, totally moving away from this situation. Nine, uh, tell me about the Six of Swords and this King of Cups. Six of Swords, King of Cups. Okay. And look, the Emperor in the reverse, yo. Okay. This is an energy of someone who is... pretty much out of control. They lack control. Or this is also an energy of someone who is very cold, okay? The emperor is very disciplined, structured, okay? 
Um, but when it's in the reverse, it's just downright, just kind of cold, like boot camp or, you know what I mean? Like boot camp type energy. Um, and I feel like you're going to come off this way when you separate, because with that six of swords, I feel like you're doing this with, without really giving this person much warning. Like I said, you may write a check and be like, mm, this is going to be the last time we talk for a while. I'm going to be traveling, you know, out of the country for the next two years. And, you know, good luck. And I hope this goes far. Be the kids and the cats. And I'll, I'll, I'll send a postcard when I get a chance. <laughs> under the deck judgment. Do you see what I mean here? I'm not even playing with you. Emperor in the reverse and the judgment card. You are making a decision that is final. And this person is going to be like, damn, that's cold. Like, you're just going to leave like that? You're just going to leave with the chariot? Y'all, I'm not making this shit up. I'm not, y'all. This is just my tried and true nitty gritty itty bitty committee deck. It tells the truth. I mean, it gets it out, just the grimiest of the grime and the the most gorgeous, gorgeous truths come out of this deck. There's like a little red dot there. Interesting. <laughs> just a laser. Ooh. So yeah, um, you guys, I'm not making this stuff up. Emperor in the reverse. Judgment in the chariot. This person feels like you are so cold for leaving like that with that hangman. You see what I mean? Like, how can you just leave me hanging like this, just sitting here wondering what's going on? And with the Ten of Pentacles here and the uh, Hierophant, look at this. And the Six of Swords, how can you just walk away? You know what I mean? Like, we had a commitment, or, you know, I thought that you know, we had this thing going. Well, and you're like, <laughs> you had a thing going. You see what I'm saying? But with the strength card here, definitely putting your foot down, okay? Um, Ace of Cups and the Lovers. There's something new. There's a new business opportunity. This person, you're telling this person you have to move away or do something new with a new partnership. And this person is going to flip the script. They're not going to be able to get why you could possibly want to do this. And they're going to be upset. Tell me about the Ace of Cups and the Lovers. Ace of Cups and the Lovers, please. Ace of Cups and the Lovers. And look, the four cups, see, you are not interested pulling back your energy, okay? Um, and you're like letting this person know, listen, you know, it's just not working out. It, it hasn't been for a while and, you know, I'm just not feeling this and, uh, you know, good luck with the six of cups here and the ace of swords it's like i know you know we have history i know we've been in this for a long time now or since we were you know in school and this and that but the the truth is is that i've got to i've got to do what's best for me see what i mean queen of swords energy here under the deck. This is what is best for you. Tell me about the moon and the ace of wands. And you're keeping it very cool and not, a, not about emotions. You know what I'm saying? And this person is all up in their feelings with the moon here and the ace of wands getting very upset here. Ace of pentacles. How dare you move on to a new opportunity. This is all about this opportunity. It's all about this pentacle that this person is interested in. How dare you manifest somewhere else with the devil under the deck? See, 
this person was pretty much had their claws in your paws. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They had their claws in your paws. And you were like, unleash. Say, Tom, unleash your claws from my paws and let go of my abundance. Do you see what I'm saying? Nine of Pentacles sitting here waiting for the world to see under the deck. Last card out, y'all, before I pull a couple couple of oracle to close this out but i am telling you right now i told you so but i can tell you so nine of pentacles pre empress energy with the king of cups here y'all i can't y'all i can't complete separation complete separation with the six of wands in the background success winning here you're this is called winning when you're able to pull away even though you care about these people, even though you're emotionally committed, devoted to this person and compassionate in many ways, but not in the paper chasing way. They'll have to figure it out for themselves. Okay, not on your dime. Couple of last Oracle and I'm just gonna pull. So let's see, Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about cancer first. What does cancer need to know today? Tell us about cancer, please. What does cancer need to know today? Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell us about cancer. All right, so let's see. We have friendship. Look at that, number 17. And those arrows are going two different ways. One plus seven is eight. It's all about self. It's all about karma. It's all about, you know, what goes out must come back to you. But we got to go our separate ways. You know what I mean? And when we cross paths, we will cross paths. It is what it is. We can be friends and go in different ways. You, see what I'm saying? You, it's not about you. It's about me. But we have you here. So there's an energy of focusing on you with the number 32. Okay, focusing on self, three plus two is five. All about change. Not being afraid. And we have crown personal power. What did I just say? Change and not being afraid. So this is a transition in an upward way. Okay. 28. Number 28. 2 plus 8 is 10. Okay. That final energy here says union. Yes, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Aww. Gorgeous energy. Hmm. I feel like this person may try to um, be very um, they're definitely going to bring a lot of emotions in, in to play here. Um, yeah, they're going to come on very strong when they do this with friendship and you, this person. It's like it's going to be all about you and you're their friend and this and that. When I feel like this person is kind of out of bounds here.
Yeah, well, I hope you all definitely can resonate and build from this energy here. Um, I really appreciate you for listening to the message today, you guys. Um, congratulations to the winners that I announced earlier. Please go back and rewind if you missed out and email me to claim your prize. Go to the website to book a reading, subscribe to the channel to be entered and hashtag win or hashtag free reading to be entered in your chance to win a three question personal reading with me. All right, folks, I love you so much. Hashtag win, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.